big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching i win the unity platform from thank you so much and we do really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a win the unity platform so very quick one this video is going to be driving your attention to ghana blasters um camp update and also we're going to be clearing some certain things right here as well and we're going to be finishing with you thomas party situation um what is the reason why thomas party couldn't able to join ghana blaster the double header against sudan and yeah there's some of the things going to be sharing with you right here at a windy unity platform so please if you haven't subscribed to the platform yet do subscribe to the platform give us thumbs up share the link to your friends subscribing to the platform it will also help you anytime we upload a new video you will be the first person to get the notification bell that we have uploaded a new video so thank you for always doing so my lovely brothers them so let's get in now ghana blasters the game was kind of a little bit confusing to me um from day one we all knew that um ghana blasters was going to be playing the match on on the 11th that would be on friday so that was the whole thing that i know so even yesterday even early today uh, video i was kind of a little bit confused no, no, don't know when they're going to play the match i was doubting is it thursday is it friday but thank to some of my brothers in the comment section try to correct me as right there so thank you everyone thank you brothers for trying to correct me letting me know that the match actually going to be on thursday but not friday and this all is not really yeah i do um like this is coming from the gfa and the calf because kind of a little bit confusion in so many things that is what i wasn't even knowing when the game gonna play so now we know when the game gonna play that is gonna be on the 10th thursday ghana time 4 p.m in ghana time so thank you everyone for trying to also correct me for that side as well i really really appreciate it we are human and most of the time um not always we can get everything right particularly me not all the time i can get everything right so thank you so much as well and those who yeah now when you talk about the players that also miss ghana blasters i was kind of a little bit confused this is a um, news i was getting okay this is the news i was getting concerning magida smero um ghana midfielder magida smero could miss um the upcoming game against um sudan on thursday in the qualifiers for the 2025 african cup of nation afcon tournament during um injury and you can see it on your screen so um even the player that I was kind of a little bit doubting when I got the news yesterday afternoon was Jesse uh, Pensi. But I knew that Thomas Partey and also um, Ibrahim Suleiman, I knew those people injury was confirmed. So now that I have some people also saying that Magi Desmero is not part of the injured players. So as things are now, to be honest, I do not know whether he in the camp now or not. But what I know for my side for now is is also part of the players that are injured if they're able to make it then that is a good news okay so now also um i think one brother right here on your comment also you spoke about that ibrahim no, sulemana sulemana is not in the squad sulemana in the squad and the sulemana i'm talking about i'm not talking about kamar din sulemana my lineup i put out there first um, you know, we have two Suleimana. We have um, Kamar Din Suleimana. I'm not talking about Kamar Din Suleimana because I knew very well that Kamar Din Suleimana is injured, so he wasn't even part of the first squad. So, the first possible lineup I give, I was talking about Ibrahim Suleimana. Okay, so maybe, bro, if you do not know that maybe we have two Suleimana, this one right here was saying that, but Magida Smero is not one of them, sir. You say Magi Desmero is not one of them, meaning it's not part of the guys that are injured. Okay, if that is the case, then I do not know because yesterday all the news I was getting that he was also part. So if uh, this our brother says he's not part, then it is a good news. But as things are now, I, I feel I think it is part. Okay, so thank you for also that one. And also this one say no. Suleimana no uh, no Suleimana in the squad but Bedu I don't get no Suleimana in the squad 
but Bidu, I'm not getting you. I'm not getting what you're trying to say. You, you say no Suleimana in the squad, but Bidu, maybe you have to let me know that I'm kind of a little bit confused about your comment here a little bit. So yeah, um, it's kind of a little bit um, somehow I'm, I'm, I'm confused here. I must be honest. And the reason why I'm confused, things are not really clear to me um, in terms of everything. Um, Ghana, uh, kind of a little bit uh, confusing here. Uh, how they carve the program, their system, the way GFA, the program, their system, it was kind of a little bit confusing in this game. So uh, we just have to take it like that for now. And maybe, guys, it is not maybe my intention. If I didn't get some certain things right, Guess forgive me, it is not my intention to maybe miss uh, put some certain thing. It is based on how the, the, the whole situation right here. Now, we're going to talk about Thomas Partey situation. Um, some players, I guess, feel like I do not believe that they are 100% injury. One, Thomas Partey, I do not believe they, 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 they give a Facebook person even confirm that it is not injury, but it is is not feeling well that is not injury injury if someone is sick is different and injury you're playing football and you have a knock or something that is nothing like that but according to the facebook person they say it is a fever or something like that stuff like that then magida smero the match against um the play for underlet he came on 90th minute he do not even touch the ball more than um more than 10 more than uh, five minutes so I was wondering where he got the injury because I watched that game. Most of the weekend, I always watch most of where Ghanaians are playing. The moment they substitute the player, I will change to different channel where Ghanaian player is playing. When they substitute that player, I will change to different play. So uh, the weekend, I was watching that game, the underlet game, when they won, they won their three goals to zero. And Magida Smith came on 90th minute. So I wonder where he, get the, he got the injury. Also, Kinsley Sinler. Obviously, uh, to be honest, that game, I do not watch that game. But he also came on second half. And I do not know how come he also get an injury. Joseph Pencil, I watched that game, midnight. I watched that game against uh, when uh, LA Galaxy, they play against uh, um, Osman Bukhari team. I watched that game. I do not really see where the injury was coming. So when the news came out yesterday, I was kind of feeling like, there may be one of two issues that this is my 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 opinion and no this is how i was thinking and even now that one uh Jesse pencil may could it could feel that he have form he's playing very well but when they come to ghana blasters they always left him in the bench that could be some tactics from that side because you know this is some of the situation um this guy retired by force um uh, this guy that play um italy um after duncan the same situation according to him for some time he was playing very well but when he get to black stars they are not giving him a chance to play and the players are not doing well in the, the uh, their clubs are they are always playing and he forced to retire by force and so i was feeling that maybe it could be some of the you know jesse pencil and 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 and, and uh, ghana uh, let me say the coach and maybe gfa it is not really that much okay since the world cup time so when you join the Ghana Blasters, even the last time the World Cup qualified or the African Cup of Nations qualified against Angola was kind of uh, somehow the World Cup qualifier is like he couldn't able to make it due to injury, yes. But the African Cup of Nations against Angola and Niger it was kind of somehow. And also, Kingsley Sinla may also feel like he was called up the game as a left back. But when Gideon Mensah wasn't there, they didn't give him a chance to even play. And he was using uh, Ali Desiru to play for the left back and he was in the bench. So those kind of things can make these players feel like, okay, if that is so, I will not be wasting my time going there to sit down in the bench. If I'm not performing, that is fine. But I'm, pe I'm performing. Maybe some of the players will not have patience. They will say, well, Giron Mensa is not there. I should have been starting the game. So uh, that is my that is something I'm just feeling because they are not giving us a clear something that you can know that, okay, this is the injury situation. Someone like uh, Ibrahim Osman, yes, I agree. I watched that game and I keep repeating. I watched that game by myself and I saw what happened. I agree with that one. But the rest, now, Thomas Partey, you see, 
I always talk about something here. You see, Ghanaian, we need to show love for our players that always show like anger for like for Ghana Blasters. Player like a Samu, uh, a Jan, player like a Steven Apia, player like Andre Yu. We can never have these players in Ghana Blasters again. The kind of commitment they give to Ghana Blasters. To my personal opinion, we will never get player like a Samu Jan again. We will never get player like Andre Yu again. We will never get player like. Our captain, our boss, our captain, our everything, Stephen Appiah. Why? Because when you look at Stephen Appiah time, you could see the kind of commitment. As a Mwajan, I remember for some game, someone should tell me if I'm lying, some game, As a Mwajan was like in the hospital or something like that. They put, they inject As a Mwajan in order, he used that to play football for Ghana Blaster, even with helping Blaster to win that very game. I forget the game. Andre, you, when was the last time? Andre, you, you see, giving a squeezy that all oh, maybe I have a problem, I cannot be able to come. Apart from when uh, there was an issue between him with uh, something and Jordan, and uh, you didn't make it. I think in South Africa, uh, I've gone. Apart from that, when was the last time you see jo I mean, Andre, you, even Jordan, to give a squeeze that wall, I was not able to come? When was the last time? But you see, Thomas parted with his arsenal. This is not the first time. And it is disrespect. For the England, for the for the for the for the for the English clubs, most of the time always given to African countries. Do you want to tell me that if Thomas Partey was to be a and the, the British, the British national team player, this thing will happen? This thing will never happen. If this would have to be like maybe a Spanish national team player, you think this will happen? It will never happen. If this was to be a German national team player, this will happen. This will never happen. We was here when uh, former Liverpool coach. Um, I, this uh, what is name? Uh, former Liverpool coach that I guess uh, left and this man came in, Jurgen Club or something like that. He was saying that why African players were to go to African Cup of Nations, they feel like uh, these players. Uh, what are you going there to do? We are paying you this huge amount of money. It is disrespect. And Thomas Partey. Even though if your coach says you cannot go, you, you have a whole way to convince your coach to let know how this game are very how this game important is. So we look at Samoa Jan, Steven Appiah, are you these two we have in Ghana Blasters. Every match, even friendly match, are you want to be there? Not just because of uh, but the passing he had for the country, the passing he had for the Black Stars. Look at Steven Appiah when he was there. So sometimes when we talk about those things, some people think that maybe ah, maybe you may not like this person. It is nothing for that. Me, I don't have that kind of that kind of mind. Mind like maybe I don't like it. We are even human being. If I want to be honest, I cannot say that I lack the whole world. Everybody, we are human being. I do not believe that everybody like me. It is normal. Not everybody like me. And I'm aware of that. So I cannot say I lack everybody. But when we are talking about Ghana Black Stars, that is the part we are talking about right here. This game is very crucial. Then you wait and see. I think um, their next game is going to be who? Arsenal. You will see after the after the the, 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 the international tournament. You will see Thomas Partey being on the lineup for Arsenal. Like I would have said that if Thomas Party be on the lineup for Arsenal for their next game, he should quit from Ghana Black Stars. I can even tell you that Ghana Black Stars, you will see even the performance you're going to prove there without even Thomas Party in this place. You will see. Because I'm not, I'm not, those players are going to get the chance right there. They are not going to leave their safe. They are going to prove that yes, they are going to show the coach that they can play. Thomas Party, what ball is he is playing for Ghana Black Stars that uh, Abu Francis cannot play? What about Thomas Partey is playing that uh, Elias Ousu cannot play? Tell me. So me, I don't even have some feeling. I don't even have some kind of feeling that oh, we are missing some. Yes, if they are there, it is good. But I'm not really f missing like maybe back of the days when Asamoah is not in the team. You could feel like you 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 could feel in your heart that this game is going to be tough for us. Back of the days when Simon Appiah is not there, you could feel like no, there will not be a good game for us. But this, I'm not having the feeling. I'm not having the feeling that Thomas Party is missing Ghana Blaster. I'm not having the feeling. So if he doesn't want to come, whatever he's sick or not, he should be his Arsenal if he want. 
it shouldn't come back to Ghana Black Stars again. No one is bigger than Ghana Black Stars. No one, because it is kind of, what is that? What is that? Uh, because something that even make me know very clearly that Thomas Partey is not going to make it. When I saw the most of the players that was arrived in Ghana from, from UK, and I didn't see Thomas Partey, I was like, no, Thomas Partey is going to make it like that. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So when the news broke up, I was not too much <laughs> surprised. So yeah, um, that is that is it. I'm fully confident with the guys that are in the camp. Because I don't think that Thomas Partey um, is there. If he's uh, there, he's going to be plus for us. But I don't think that Thomas Partey was there when, when uh, Angola beat us at home. He wasn't there. He was there. So I don't think that Thomas Partey alone can make... If you're going to blast us lose, it's not going to be because Thomas Partey and the rest players are not there. If Ghana going to lose or Ghana going to play draw, I'm not think, gonna thinking that maybe oh if Thomas Pato was there. No. The players that are in the camp with belief and confidence, they can beat Sudan. If not because of things, Sudan shouldn't be team that we should be thinking that oh Sudan, Sudan, Sudan. No. If not because of one or two things that change in Ghana Blast eyes now, Sudan shouldn't be team that Ghana should be thinking how many goals we have to give them. And I believe that guys, the guys they will they will prove that safe coming on Thursday. So yeah. Thank you so much for always staying here with us. We do really, really appreciate you um, for always staying here once again.